Now in just a couple weeks, this vessel behind me here is gonna be sunk offshore, become one of Jacksonville's newest destinations. Oh, and by the way, we're not just sinking one boat, we're sinking this one as well. Now you may be wondering, well, why in the world are you sinking vessels in the first place? Why would you sink ships? A vessel like this, that's essentially clean steel at this point, we place it in the ocean, it becomes a piece of real estate that being colonized by ocean critters. Things like corals and sponges, other marine critters like fish and sea turtles and bigger fish, and the list goes on and on. So what happens at the end of the day is you get this underwater ecosystem that benefits the entire marine food chain. And that's pretty amazing that we can do that simply by placing metal vessels underwater. Now before we can sink the ship to make it a reef, we actually have to clean it up quite a bit because it is messy. So it's a long process, a lot of man hours, but everything that's not environmentally friendly needs to come off of this boat. And so we're in the process of cleaning this vessel up to get it to a environmentally sound condition so we can sink it and not worry too much about any environmental hazards. This cool steering wheel really needs to go too little chair base, it's wood, it's gotta come out. So the nice thing about a ship is a ship is made of steel and steel is a great material for using to build an artificial reef. The problem with a ship is there are a lot of materials on it that are not steel, things like plastic, wire insulation, insulation, fiberglass, all kinds of things that aren't really the best for environment. So all that stuff needs to come out before a vessel like this is sunk. So this vessel has gone through a ton of work to get rid of things like loose paint, fiberglass insulation, wires, you name it. We're trying to get this boat down to just bare steel so it's nice and clean when it's ready to be sunk to become a reef. getting close to the end here where both these vessels are getting cleaned up. They're going to be basically just a big chunk of metal. They're going to be towed offshore to the new offshore Jacksonville destination location, sunk, and then it's going to turn into a marine life hotspot that's going to be an awesome place for fishermen and scuba divers.
going. Come on. This boat is actually sinking right now. We have opened the sea valves. Water is coming in. We try to balance the boat out. So we're going to be getting off this boat in a minute. As a side benefit of this is we're essentially creating an offshore destination. We are creating an attraction site that can be utilized by people that want to say go fishing or scuba diving. We're creating an area that's going to be a marine life hotspot. This is a place that's going to have a lot of wildlife and it's going to be concentrated in this wreck so it's going to be amazing to go down there as a scuba diver to see all the awesome fish and things living on this reef and utilizing it to survive. People want to see, observe, and catch that marine life. And so it's pretty amazing we're able to do that. We're able to build this offshore destination. We're able to benefit the marine environment all by recycling these old metal ships.